When I'm dubbing a fur blend, I want that fur blend to be absolutely loose. I want it, the fibers to be multi-directional so that with natural materials, the scales in that fur will help to interlock to create that felting process. I like to make my own dubbing blends and I use a coffee mill and chop off the fur and maybe put in a little bit of synthetic antron, for instance, for some sparkle and so forth. I put it into a coffee mill and I use that to blend the material together to get these this sort of thing. But in storage, what happens is a lot of times it'll just mat and clump together. So before you use it, I would advise you to consider taking your clump out. And yes, I could use pieces off this edge and they will probably pretty dub nicely and so forth. But actually what I want to do is I want to take this whole clump so it's ready to go for me and put it into a coffee mill and we're going to loosen it up. So this is something I've already blended in a coffee mill, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind it up, so to speak, loosen it up so that it makes my life a whole lot easier. Let me see if I can get the cap on and we'll just grind away. Pardon the noise. Sort of bounce it around a little bit and let's see what we got. Now that clump that was all matted together is now much more loose. I'll just kind of gather it together and let's just kind of compare this little piece to the other one that I think I still got inside of this Ziploc and you can see the difference. Uh, not necessarily it's just because it's flat, but just matted together over here versus this piece that I can work off of and it'll just dub so much nicer. It may be a minor appearance point, but trust me, when you try this, this is going to dub so much easier than this matted clump. 